pair of dice are thrown and the number of six is noted. Using probability generating functions, calculate the mean and the variance. Let x be the random variable, the number of sixes obtained. Now, if you throw two dice, you can have no sixes, one six, or two six. So x will take on the values 0, 1, or 2. We need to work out the probabilities of each of these. The probability that x is equal to 0 is just going to be 5, 6 squared, which is 25 out of 36. We will put that in there. The probability of x is equal to 1, well, that's 1, 6 times 5, 6, but also you can have 5, 6 times 1, 6, so it's 2 times 1, 6 times 5, 6, which is 10 out of 36. And the probability of having two sixes is going to be 1, 6 squared, which is... 1 out of 36, which is 1 out of 36. So, the probability generating function is going to be for this, g of x of t, which is 25 over 36, plus 10 over 36t, plus 1 over 36t squared. We need to find g dashed of t, which, g, which is going to be 10 over 36, because this one will be 0, plus 2 over 36 times t, and we will also need g of double dash of t, which is going to be 2 over 36 when you differentiate this. For the expectation, the mean, we need to find g dash of 1, so we need to put 1 in here, so we're going to get g dash of 1 is 10 over 36, plus 2 over 36 times 1, which is going to give me 12 over 36, which is 1 third g double dash of x of 1 is going to be 2 over 36. It doesn't matter what value this is, it's always going to be 2 over 36 in this case. So the variance of x is g double dash of x plus g dash of x minus g dash of x all squared. So the variance of x is going to be 2 out of 36 plus 1 third minus 1 third squared. So that's going to be 5 out of 18 when you work it out. So this has been a video to show you how to set up a probability distribution, write down its generating function, and then use generating functions to determine the mean and the variance.